Hey, Dr. Berg here. In this video, we're going to talk about a myth that you probably heard that if you eat yeast, you're going to get yeast. Or people tend to avoid uh, eating mushrooms because they have toenail fungus. Or they're going to avoid consuming um, apple cider vinegar or vinegar because they think they're going to get a yeast infection from that. That is a myth. There is such a thing as a good yeast and a bad yeast. And even if we take candida, for example, candida can be totally harmless in the body. And if there's a shift in um, unfriendly yeast coming in the body, they can turn against you and create problems. So there's a lot of microbes that are even kind of neutral and they can go either side depending on the environment. Um, kefir, for example, is a type of a sour yogurt. It's a fermented, um, um, dairy that is really the only thing that I know that will help get rid of uh, certain types of candida stuff. So you have to actually consume the good yeast to destroy the bad yeast because they're both competitive. Uh, and you can get kefir at the health of store. Make sure that you don't get the flavored kefir or the flavored yogurts. Get the actual plain. And the other thing too, it's difficult to find. You try to find yogurt and it's all non-fat, it's all low fat, it's all 1%. You need the whole milk, yogurt, and kefir. That is way better. Grass-fed is even better. But um, yeah, that fat is very, very, very beneficial to your body. Um, so there's over 400 different types of microbes in the body. You have friendly bacteria, friendly yeast, friendly fungus. All those microbes um, help protect you against the unfriendly fungus or unfriendly yeast. So if you have fungus growing on your skin or your toenails, we know um, that you don't have some good fungus inside your gut to be able to counter that. So, and I use a liquid, uh, a live probiotic flora. It's a liquid probiotic that I take on a regular basis just to counteract that. It's a, a really good way to get friendly yeast and friendly uh, bacteria. So fermented foods do not worsen the situation. And I know there's might even a book out called The Candida Diet. It's filled with false information. It's not true. You, these foods are very, very beneficial. Uh, so, so fermented foods would be like sauerkraut, uh, kimchi, um, apple cider vinegar, um, um, yogurt, kefir. Those are really good for your digestive system. Fermented foods are foods that are enhanced nutritionally. They're foods that are easier to break down because they have certain things in them like lactic acid, which our bodies really need. Um, so they're very, very easy on your system. Um, there are over a hundred trillion different microbes um, living on your body. And you only have, um, I'm sorry, there's a thousand trillion, I, gotta, I have to add a zero to that, uh, a thousand trillion microbes living on your body and you have a hundred trillion cells. So these microbes are by a factor of 10 times more than we actually have cells. So they're living outside your body, they're living in the, the inside of your body, in your mouth, in your esophagus, they line everything. Uh, and so don't be afraid of consuming yeast, like nutritional yeast, for example, or kefir or fermented foods, because it can be very beneficial on the unfriendly side. All right, so hope that helped. I will see you in the next one.